my beautiful souls, the Awakened Dreamer here. Don't mind me just cleansing the energy, the air, um, the energy in the air from my noisy roommates trying to only bring you um, positive energy. Alrighty. So I'm here to do the um, daily read for you, the daily tarot for Monday, January 25th, uh, 2021. And I do want to take this moment to remind you to like this video, of course. Leave me a comment and do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And um, the message for the day when meditating on the energy was, was um, excuse me, keeping your cool. Keeping your cool. So let's start off by pulling a couple messages from the Wisdom of the Oracle deck. For our beautiful collective, thank you, Spirit, for Monday the 25th. And keep in mind, general reading for all 12 signs, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Thank you, Spirit. For Monday the 25th. And uh, bear with me if you do hear any background noise. It is uh, daytime here, which is not easy for me to do readings, but I'm doing this one for you anyways. Okay. Here and now. So it feels like it is going to be a day where um, it will be difficult for each of, us, each of us individually to kind of stay present mentally. Uh, maybe drifting to the past, kind of glorifying certain situations, which we've been speaking about recently, or maybe drifting to the future kind of, um, but maybe not in the most productive way. So maybe just during, throughout this Monday, excuse me, try to, your best to bring yourself back to the here, to the now, to the present moment. And then um, buy the book. And so it is a day where you kind of wake up and you're like, all right, the week is beginning. So you kind of figure, let's make this week better than last week, or let's make it better than some of the previous weeks. Or um, let's make it easier for me to accomplish uh, my work or get this done or that done or you name it or to accomplish this goal. And so you kind of, excuse that noise, uh, you do seem to um, feel the need to start this Monday or make your way through it kind of with a plan, doing things with a sense of control, feeling like it will um, give you a better result. And they're saying not necessarily. You're not allowing for the flow to come uh, to come and go you know, as far as the universe is concerned, and then poised. And it feels like, again, part of the reason why you're trying to do things by the book and, um, you know, make things go a bit smoother this week or throughout this Monday in general. Um, it, it just feels like it's because there are certain irritations and annoyances that have been surrounding you recently. And it gets to the point where like I said, it's making it hard for you to do your work or it's making it hard for you to have a clear mind, take uh, messages in from spirit, you name it, whatever the case may be, or just simply it's making it hard for you not to not feel anxious in, you know, what feels like it should be a calm, tranquil, um, enjoyable environment, right? One that does not cause you any sense of anxiousness. Oh, but it just feels like um, the whole point of this me saying that with this card was it just feels like with those annoyances and irritations we're doing our best throughout this monday to keep ourselves poised to as the overall message says keeping your cool doing your best at the very least with what feels like a lot of irritations aggravations opinions background noises occurring throughout this monday so just mentally prepare for it let's pull four tarot cards for the day i'm already picking up on a little bit of the anxiety so just take a deep breath, my friend. Definitely meditate throughout this day. And I'm going to take my own advice and meditate uh, directly after this reading. Nope, they don't want those. For our beautiful collective to continue this uh, daily read for Monday the 25th. And it's interesting because I was ready to go, ready to do this reading when I, you know, after getting ready, after doing a few things around, you know, my apartment. And then it was just so difficult. It was like, my one main obstacle these days is my roommates and how noisy they can be, you know, which is why you find me or see me doing them early in the morning. And so the, um, it just was almost, I felt like I wasn't going to be able to do it. I thought I had a moment and then noise and after that stopped and then another set of noise. Do you see what I'm saying? So it was just um, almost kind of getting me into that mindset or thinking about it or feeling my own frustrations to kind of express to you how you're going to be feeling throughout this Monday. You see what I'm saying? Otherwise, I don't feel that would have happened directly before the reading. Keep, <clears throat> excuse me. To um, continue. Thank you, Spirit. Sorry for that rant. For the 25th for Monday. Okay. 
All right, we're gonna pull the last one right from the top of the deck. And three of wands at the bottom. Uh, so yeah, you're definitely given the here and now card, um, thinking about the future, just try to do it in a productive, optimistic light. Um, because again, you do have a beautiful future ahead for you, okay? And so, um, and also, it's so interesting how we have the two cards at the bottom of the deck, one talking about you planning and thinking about your future, the other one feeling nostalgic and feeling quite drawn to the past, at least mentally. Wow. Uh, so Queen of Wands. So you start off Monday um, feeling pretty good, feeling passionate, feeling maybe a newfound sense of energy um, or a continuation of which from the previous days. And my leg is moving back and forth, it, although you're feeling quite passionate and upbeat and um, maybe in your power to start this Monday, you will feel a little bit on edge, maybe because of that rush of energy or because of those irritations when trying to get your work done or whatever the case may be. Um, I do see this now as you kind of wanting to put your foot down and be like, enough, that's enough, a lot. that's too much noise, that's too much of this, too much irritation. Um, whether you do something about it, that's going to be different for everybody. And we're moving on to the Princess of Wands, which you typically call the anxious card on this channel. Um, and so you make your way to wrap up the first half of the day. And like I've been saying, you're getting a bit of anxiety. You're stressing out a bit, whether it's because you can't stay present because you're throughout this first half of the day, or you're simply, again, being affected um, by certain exterior, ex external noises, um, whether that's, you know, car alarms, roommates, family, soul connections, you name it. Um, it just feels like in the first half of the day, it's quite, kind of hard to escape um, any sort of irritations or noises that are bothering you at this time. And it might just feel like you are, with both of these two images, it might feel like you're sort of balancing or trying to, playing like a balancing act trying to get everything done or trying to um, keep your cool throughout this first half of the day. Spirit says you got this, just don't um, let anything get the best of you. The Four of Swords. And so you make your way to start the second half of the day and it feels like you just need a nap or you need to take a step back and adjust your perspective or simply cool down, you know, or find a any sort of quiet, um, space for yourself so you can eliminate any sense of anxiety to meditate, to clear your mind, to bring yourself back to the present once again. Spirit's saying whatever situation, whatever irritations are getting, are almost getting the best of you throughout this Monday, but won't. Um, there, there are changes, there are adjustments on the horizon for you to improve that situation or to replace it with something healthier and better, but just hang in there in the meantime. Um, Six of Swords. Oh, and the Four of Swords is next to um, by the book. And so they're saying um, at this point in the day, definitely when taking a step back and clearing your mind, meditating, um, adjust your perspective on how you're approaching things this week, on how you're approaching your work um, or whatever situation um, feels a bit difficult at this time. Allow yourself more flexibility and give the universe and spirit some room to help you out. And um, so the Six of Swords to finish off. And so you finish off the day definitely thinking about, uh, maybe not fully, but thinking about um, up and leaving a certain situation, whether it's a home situation, a work situation, um, a relationship, you name it. But it just feels like being aligned with this Princess of Wands, it's to eliminate the sense of anxiety when working or when doing whatever it is for you that you're trying to accomplish throughout this Monday. Um, and Spirit saying, yeah, keep thinking about it, keep planning for it. It may feel like there is a certain financial goal that stands between you and making this change, but you just need to keep planning for it and keep moving towards what um, will be healthier, what's right for you at the end of the day. And like I always say, putting aside anybody else's opinion um, in order to sort of do again, do again what's best for you at the end of the day. And... Um, we're going to finish this off by pulling a crystal card to see which crystal is going to benefit us throughout this Monday. When there are irritations, my friend, crystals definitely come in handy. Thank you, Spirit. What do you have? Ooh, sorry. That was loud. Okay. Uh, Tibetan Black Quartz. 
I'm gonna read, uh, find out what to read you on the back, my friends. It says Sagittarians could use this. Uh, where to put it, wherever you are looking to elevate the vibe, operate on a higher plane and explore the vastness of your human consciousness and when to use it when you're chasing enlightenment on the meditation cushion, we were talking about meditation, when you're pulling tarot cards. And then the quote, bold to quote, is lighten, light up your spiritual path, my friends. Light up your spiritual path. All right, so do what you have to today, um, or rather throughout this Monday, to, um, to keep your cool, to center yourself, to ground yourself, to not let, to not let any sort of um, irritations get the best of you, okay? So I hope this reading was truly helpful. Don't forget to like, um, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope you have the most amazing Monday, and I'll see you next time. Bye.